Michelle here, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human! Yeah! Let's go! We're with Connor. My favorite. So, it's gonna be a good episode. Um, last episode, we were with Marcus. <sighs> Climbed out of a pit. It was pretty wild. A lot of dead androids. Killed an android. That was fun. If you didn't see it, go watch it. Anyway! Connor time! November 6th, 2038. Look at the big brown eyes. There he is! It's my boy! Find Amanda. I see a lady I think is Amanda. Now, I want to get my bearings. This is going to be important later on. Look at the sand circle. I think I see Amanda. There are birds. Now over, if I'm right, there it is! Iconic. Let's go take a look, Connor. It's all very tranquil and calm. It's a uh, handprint. Stick, yeah, stick, stick, stick your little palmy on there, buddy. Oh, I love how the skin peels back. Oh, oh. Did you not like that, Connor? Okay. Let's go talk to Amanda. So, I'm just trying to catch my bearings, because this is a bit of a maze. I like the little sand, I like the sand details, so she is up here. I love the path. Like, I love the, like, triangles and stuff. I love art like that, where it's, like, the triangles and it's ge geometric. Okay, so, bear with me. This is important later. Her rose thing is there. You go away from the rose thing. That's just for me. Because I'm nervous about later th parts of the game. Oh, her hair is shimmering. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good so. to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. Oh, jeez. And I don't... the way you interrogated it was very clever. Thank You've you. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. Look at this little We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Um... Traumatized. I think he was traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner as if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. Nice. What do you make of him? Uh, we're besties. He's intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing oh. character. I like how he chews his lip Unfortunately. a little bit. We have no choice but to work with him. Um, it's not unfortunate. Approach? Um, I'm gonna be friendly. I'm gonna try to establish a friendly relationship. Woo! If I not get him to trust it. Me, it will be helpful for the investigation. Suck it, Amanda. Hank and I are gonna be best friends, more and there's and nothing you can do about it. Show signs of besties. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. Good to know. If yeah. anyone can figure out what's happening, it's the word exposition. You can count on me, Amanda. Can you? Because I have other plans. <laughs> Hurry, go. There's little time. Um, I think we should just see what the deviants do. Sit back, relax, watch them <laughs> curiously. Every time I see a cool space like this, I'm tempted to make it in Minecraft. <laughs> Can I help you? I'm here oh, to see pretty. Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? SD yes. 300. Square is to the left. Why do I keep mixing up triangle and square? That's concerning. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Um, uh, it's like nine. 
Lady. You're an android. Alright, I'll chase it up. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Fast track in the process, baby! Always helps to ask. Okay. Oh, sorry, lady. Always helps to ask. I think it just, those are just to look at like the name tags. There he is! Yay! Always helps to ask if you're unsure. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> His little... Mm. Sit down. <laughs> That's so... That's so cute! He's adorable! Love you, Connor. Hi, honey. Okay. I want to look at Hank's desk. You can look at stuff on his desk, right? Yeah. That's important to me. Because my relationship with Hank is number one! <laughs> Dark Heavy Metal! Release date 2021. So it's old. Oh, analyze. Let's do this quickly. I don't want to run out of time. Oh, Hank. Coffee cup, traces of caffeine, I wonder why. I thought that was weed for a minute. I was like, yeah! Android slogans, we don't bleed the same color. Detroit basketball! Good cop, real police. Not nice since he owes me $50. Nice girl, asshole. Canine Harris, St. Bernard! Sumo! Jimmy's Bar. Detroit police dismantles a network of red ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt with a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic with a number of high profile dealers. Detective Hank Angerson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operations, which took some months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his, and his colleagues as model investigative police work. Becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force. Yeah! Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorative detectives in the DPD recent history, securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force. Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is ready... Oh my gosh. And is already being tipped as a future commissioner! Nearly a ton of red ice was discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson. King! Am I missing anything? No. <gasps> there it's good he is. to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, ah! Jesus. That's so sweet! Hey, <laughs> in my office. Go see the Deviant. I think um, I should probably listen to the briefing. Okay. Um, no, I should listen to the briefing. Yeah, come on. Because I, I am a part of this team. It's on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind I, of crap. I know what happens if you go but into now, the, uh... We're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? Because you're good I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. 
Um, I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. I can help with that. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, <laughs> and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you, you are seriously me. starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has you to say to you? Off. Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? You're a ward, Listen, though. We're friends. I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to be I've got Heck. work to do. Dang, bro. SpongeBob B Boy. <laughs> I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey! I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> Got her. He's so positive. What a sweetie pie. He's trying so hard. Can I still? Can I still do this? Yes, I can! Yay! Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Thanks. I was proud of it. Great. Hello, Detective Reed. We're friendly. And then I'll go talk to Hank. Hopefully this doesn't use up too much time. Never seen an android like you before. Modeler. Um, answer. RK-800. Says so on my jacket. A prototype? Says so on my jacket. Can you not read, dummy? So He's He's like, <laughs> Keep like... Is that it? Hey. Bring me a coffee, dipshit. No! Get a move on! No! Refuse. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, yeah, oh. baby, you tell him. You tell him. Oh. If Hank hadn't gotten the way yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. Stay out of my way. Because next time, you won't get off so easy. You're a jerk. Did you just slap me? <laughs> jerk. All right, let's go talk to Hank, because I don't need to go see the Deviant. Several sources report okay. that Cyberlife has provided... Let's go talk to Hank. I don't need to go see the Deviant. Although police assistant androids have existed... I don't want to run out of time. Hey. Hey, bud. Um, understand. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Cute. Positive? In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Cute. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. He's trying so hard. Is there a desk Take a look anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Perfect! Why didn't it let me... Okay, I'm really concerned. Why didn't it let me say anything about Hank? Because I did all that. I want to bring it up. There we go. Dog! You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. It's 
Good Carl. boy. It's a good boy name. That's a good boy name. Oh, shoot. I keep forgetting that I have to reset it. It's okay. Um, basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Sorry. Um... Music? Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. <laughs> Scowl. It's full of energy. <laughs> you listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd, I'd like, like to. to. I love that line. It makes me so happy. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Is one. Is it because I'm annoying you? <laughs> oh, I'm not too worried about those because it goes up and down no matter what. Fowler? Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. Uh, hours? I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Sorry. Okay. If you have any files on deviance, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. I guess the dot 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 would be if I went to go talk to the deviant, right? I should go talk to the deviant. I didn't want to. I'll do it some other time. I just didn't really want to. Oh, I'm missing uh, case assigned to Lieutenant Anderson involving Android. Yes. Uh, the plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual, but when he went to work, as usual, when he went to work, when he returned, the Android was nowhere to be found. No traces of the break-in in the apartment. The Android may have left home without being ordered to. Uh, the plaintiff uh, claims to have been attacked by the AV500 blah, 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 model Android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain. Situated at the yeah. the plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. I bet you the guy didn't tip or said something rude. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Good for her. The plaintiff... The manager of the Eden Club reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Leo Manfred was found unconscious in his home. Carl Manfred. The latter's witness statement attests to an altercation between his son and the house's android. The android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. So that was Marcus, and this is Kara. The plaintiff claimed to be violently attacked. Oh, come on! Todd, get your head out your butt. The android was, had just returned from being repaired the previous day and showed signs of aggression in the past. Okay. Oh, wow. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Yeah, but she didn't. Come on, Hank! Let's go! Come on, buddy boy. Man, you are so grumpy. Um, understanding. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them. Oh my gosh, hey, Connor, no! Don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Sorry, Hank. Uh, determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. There you go. Attaboy. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Yeah! Take charge, Connor! Oh. 
Oh, listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Sorry, Hank. I should have gone talk to the android. Hank got a lead. Yeah. Find a magic stone. Okay, Hank's still warm though. That's good. Um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, what is next? Just for my curiosity. Is that all? Okay. No, that's a long one. Oh, uh, and one I really. And what I'm really nervous about. I'm gonna tackle it today. That's what I'm gonna do. Not in this video. But I am gonna tackle it today. Um, so, thank you all for watching. If you liked that video, uh, press subscribe. If you want to be notified every time I upload a video, there's a little bell thingy. You're gonna want to click that. And feel free to like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, yeah. I know what's coming next and I'm really nervous. I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to have to be fast. Okay. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching. And I will see you all later.